Hi, my name is Konstantin Neumann and I would like to share a novel mechanism of complement activation by Ugrid crystals. I'm a biochemist and I'm working at the Hanover Medical School in Germany. And I am interested in crystal-induced inflammation since my postdoc in the lab of Jürgen Ruland in Munich. There we were working on um, innate immune receptors that recognize fungi and induce inflammation. Within this group of receptors, there was one that was behaving differently, called CLEC12A. As this receptor inhibits inflammation, it does not induce it. So my job was it to identify the ligand of this receptor, and I found it to recognize monosodium urate crystals, or short MSU. Ever since this finding, I'm wondering whether the immune system has actually generated crystal-specific protein receptors, or whether this interaction of CLEC12A with the uh, MSU crystals is uh, accidental. So, um, to identify possible other uh, crystal recognition molecules, we just purified MSU binding proteins from human body fluids. Uh, this way we would identify soluble uh, recognition molecules and not transmembrane proteins. So we principally just uh, incubated MSU crystal with synovial fluid or serum, let the proteins bind, washed away the unbound proteins and eluded the bound proteins for protein leptophoresis. So here you can see a typical purification of MSU binding proteins from synovial fluid and serum, in this case from a patient with pseudogout. Um, you can see several proteins, with one protein being by far the most abundant. We identified this by mass spectrometry to be ApoB, the apolipoprotein of LDL. Um, it had been shown before by Tackletaub et al. already in the 80s that ApoB is the major MSU crystal binding protein in human body fluids and that it inhibits neutrophil responses by these crystals. Um, we found that this ApoB on the crystal surface is still capable of being recognized by its receptor LDL receptor, so potentially ApoB may also act as a opsonin on these crystals. However, we want to focus on another protein today, which is down here um, at 25 kilodalton. This protein was not in all purifications, and after identifying it by mass spectrometry to be CRP, it's uh, clear why the CRP is an acute phase protein and only present during systemic inflammation. So the binding of CRP to cholesterol crystals had been shown before, so we were unsure whether we want to follow up this finding. However, when we looked at the CRP concentration within this synovial fluid that we used, we found that before the experiment there were 30 micrograms per ml in it, and after the experiment, surprisingly, the CRP was, main, uh, was principally gone, indicating that the CRP binds to the crystals so strongly that it can actually be depleted from human body fluids. Uh, this means that principally you should also be able to use MSU crystals to purify CRP from human body fluids. And we compared the ability of MSU to purify CRP with the ability of a commercial ligand, phosphocholine agarose, which is sold for purification of CRP. Uh, both can purify CRP to a similar uh, purity, while the PC agarose, of course, has a, a higher binding capacity. But still, this suggests that the interaction of CRP with MSU is similar to the interaction of CRP to its other ligand. So, we continued to uh, try to find out how CRP is uh, uh, how, how CRP is acting on the surface of these crystals and we analyzed how CRP is changing the binding by um, the MSU binding of other proteins. So we just took a serum and plasma from an individual without any systemic inflammation, so without uh, CRP in the serum, and we just added purified CRP to these body fluids. Here you can see a plasma without CRP and besides it this is a plasma with CRP. Uh, several protein bands appear, one of them is of course CRP itself. To identify all the other proteins that seem to be recruited by CRP, 
we subjected both of these lanes uh, to mass spectrometry. And here you can see the list of the most abundant proteins on these crystals. And in the left column, you see the uh, increase in each protein in the presence of CRP. Um, the proteins that are increased are colored in green, and you can see that um, all the proteins um, that are increased are mainly complement proteins, uh, complement factor C3, and five proteins of the complement C1 complex. A little bit less abundant, but still pure, um, uh, enriched by CRP, are two proteins of the lectin pathway of complement activation, MUST1 and MBL. We verified all these uh, interactions um, by Wesserblot and can now say that CRP, uh, after binding to the crystals, recruits and activates the C1 complex the, from the classical complement pathway and also the similar complex of the lectin pathway, also um, uh, less strongly. So both of these complexes then activate uh, complement C3. And to test whether the complement activation by CRP leads all the way to the end of the complement pathway, we looked at the production of the membrane attack complex, or MAC, which is a complex of C5B through to 9. And this complex usually attacks, as the name implies, the membrane of an invading pathogen. Uh, since crystals don't have any membranes, it would be released to the supernatant and attack bystander cells and induce inflammation by this. So when we add MSU to serum, we see that uh, the amount of MAC uh, of the membrane attack complex in the supernatant increases. So MSU activates the complement pathway to the end. And if we add CRP in the right, we see an increased production of this um, membrane attack complex, indicating that CRP indeed is able to activate the complement pathway on the crystals up to the very last factor. With this, I want to close and um, uh, conclude that we think that CRP is a genuine pattern recognition molecule for MSU crystals, indicating that the the immune system may be able to use protein recognition molecules uh, to detect crystals. And two notes I could not uh, show data for is that CRP does not or hardly bind to CPPD, indicating that the uh, effect on a, an inflammation would be different um, during gout or pseudogout. Still, CRP does recognize other crystals. I also already mentioned the binding of uh, CRP to cholesterol has been shown before. And we found here another crystal that behaves similar to MSU in regard of CRP, which was calcium carbonate or calcite. This just indicates that CRP does not uh, recognize the uric acid molecule, but rather uh, some kind of surface uh, properties. And lastly, there's one limitation. In some sera, we see complement activation in the absence of CRP. In all these cases, we found MSU-specific antibodies. Uh, so it's likely that once a person has generated MSU-specific antibodies, these then activate the complement system and CRP is not important anymore. And uh, lastly, I want to thank the people who did the work, uh, mainly Annika Alberts on the left, my first PhD student, and Annika Klingberg and Anne Wessig from my lab. The mass spectrometry was performed by an expert here at Hanover Medical School, Andreas Pich. And if you have suggestions, uh, comments or questions, or are also looking for a collaboration partner, please um, send me an email to the address um, on this slide. And with this, I thank you for your attention.